How's it going, guys? Good to see ya. Today is July 13th, or rather, yesterday was, it's now the 14th, it's a Sunday, it's now 2.40 in the morning, um, which is a little funny, because I actually went home early today to call it a night early, so I can get up early on Sunday, and now it's late again, so, so much for that. Although, usually I've been getting home at 6, going to bed by 7, so, I guess it's a little better than that. Uh, yeah, I've had a couple of these. I haven't had beer in a little while, and if you know me, you know how much I enjoy the taste of beer. A good, fine beer. Mwah! Uh, so it's been good to relax tonight. Um, yeah, I talked with my mom on Skype tonight. Don't talk to them all too often, so yeah, that's where the last few hours kind of went. Uh, what should I talk about? Right, so my day. Um... I worked on one effect today, other than exporting and uploading uh, my rough cut of the video. I have a rough cut that is about 11 minutes long. I've actually cut down, it was originally closer to 12 and I cut out about a minute of just superfluous things that didn't need to be there. And I, ha I have it now better. I'm pretty happy with this video. Today was spent working on another Fume FX teleporting, or rather apparating, uh, sequence in the middle of a forest with a 3D camera move. I knew this would be difficult when I filmed it, but uh, I, it ended up, I, I solved it. It took hours. It took pretty much the majority of today to figure it out, but this was a difficult shot because basically it involves our lead uh, villain female. Her name is Evelina. Hi, Evelina. Uh, from Evelina Berry YouTube channel. She's got like 300 some hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, yeah, so basically she is like finding a couple of people and she spins around and flies away in her smoke thing. Um, the issue is that uh, because it's a 3D camera move when she leaves, it's like you can't just simply track in, you know, a clean plate shot. Like if I was just to hold the camera here and a person leaves, yeah, I can track in, you know, just a single frame, it sticks to the rest of the frame, it all blends perfectly. That's what, you know, most people do. That's what I've done in the past. Uh, but of course, I was like, oh yeah, let's make it awesome. Let's put a 3D move in there. And so, you know, now I made, I made the work hard for myself. But the upside is that I solved it, and now it looks awesome, and I'm pretty happy. Basically, what I had to do, is, it's what I talked about several weeks ago when I was talking about projection mapping, where you have to, like, rebuild the geometry in 3D space, and then project from a certain point an image onto that 3D space, Kind of like how if you're to take a projector, have you ever had like, you know, a projector from that connects to your computer or something and you point it at a wall at like an angle, it looks all skewed if you look at it from like this way. But if you look at it from this way, from basically where the projector is pointing, it looks normal. And that's because it's projecting a certain image and it, you know, goes out over geometry. And if you're looking at it from its point of view, it looks normal. But if you look at it from any other point of view, it looks skewed. That's projection mapping, where you project an image onto geometry, and that's its geometry now. If you were to move the camera a little bit, you still get, like, you can get a little bit of a parallax without making it look bad. Um, and so, on the previous shot that I showed you guys yesterday, it works perfectly because it's, you know, sharp, hard edges, flat uh, surfaces, walls, floors, all that. It's perfect, easy to do. I was having to work in a forest with bushes and trees and squirrels. This isn't easy. And so I, I managed to figure it out. I used like slices of 2D planes separated in 3D space between like the, the distance and the camera, all like kind of separated like here, 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 or here, 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 here. Anyway, and they're all like feathered with masks and whatnot. And so I projected an image onto that. And so it works. It works for the most part. Uh, and that took a lot of effort to do today. It's, it's one of those things that's like, 
you will not notice in the final video because there's going to be some epic, sweet looking smoke effects going on. Um, so yeah. All right, five minutes in. I could talk about other things that have happened today. Some big news things that happened in the news, news relatedly thing today. But I don't really want to get into that too much because this is stuff I care about, but I don't know enough concrete information to really argue my points. And so sometimes it's better to just not argue points if you don't know enough. Because then otherwise you're the, the fool who is talking about stuff you don't know. Basically, George Zimmerman got acquitted of all of his charges, which I, I don't agree with. And I say that not knowing all of the facts, whatnot, but at the end of the day, he still instigated the entire incident. He got out of his car, he approached Trayvon, and stuff went from there. And so, personally, I think he should be locked up. Uh, I can get into detail. If you want to go ahead ahead to me on this, I can go, I can go into detail on this. Uh, but I can't do this when I'm just talking. That, stuff like that requires, you know, listing sources. We're not listing sources, but looking at sources, all that kind of stuff. I'm ranting again. Um, yeah. Another thing, the dude from Glee died, which I don't follow Glee. I've never watched Glee, but, you know, whatever. Another Hollywood actor died. Uh, I don't want to judge. There are <sighs> theories as to why he died, and I don't want to indulge those, so I won't talk about it, but at the same time, it's just like, why is this getting a lot of attention when other important matters in the country, not even like, you know, oh, people are starving in Africa. You know, I'm not even talking about that. Uh, this is getting attention, but, I mean, it makes sense. You're attached to a person. That person is no longer there. You're upset, uh, but whatever. I don't know. I'm, I might be getting a little dramatic for you guys, but I feel my day was a pretty good day. I had a solid breakthrough yesterday in effects. I had solid, super solid uh, efficiency in my working today. Got a lot of stuff done. Um, I watched the first half of Bling Ring. Because Sam and his girlfriend started watching it, but then they paused it halfway through, and I was like, well, okay. Uh, and then I went home, so. I guess I'll watch it at some other time, maybe, maybe not. But the other thing I, I've been thinking about is Pacific Rim. The more I think about it, and I've talked with some of my friends about it, the more I think about it, the more I think this might become, if not my favorite, definitely my top two movies of all time. My favorite movie currently is Inception. And there, there are people who, who can argue till the end of the day way more than I care to argue about, about how Inception is not that good of a movie, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying it's a good movie. I don't care whether it's a good movie or not. I'm saying it's my favorite movie. All the points in the movie struck nerves that connected with me. And that's what matters in a movie, is connecting, is connecting your audience, making sure that they feel the things that you're trying to convey. And with Pacific Rim, I did every single thing, the, all the relationships I connected with the, in a way that I don't do with normal movies. Um, and so that's why I think Pacific Rim is probably going to be my new favorite movie of all time. And... I need to go see it. I'm probably going to see it in the morning. So probably by the time you're watching this, I will have seen it again. But we'll see. And I, I, I haven't seen it in 3D yet. I probably won't see it in 3D tomorrow because I don't think the theater down the street from me shows it in 3D, which is unfortunate and kind of surprising. Unless they show Grown Ups 2 in their main theater, in which case... <sighs> Yeah, Pacific Rim. I want to go see it again. And I'll probably see it again with my fiancé, because I doubt you will watch it on your own accord between now and when I see you next. Uh, yeah, and... I'm wondering if I, I will see this the fourth time in theaters. 
I haven't seen a movie four times in theaters before, and there's only like three, maybe four movies I've ever seen three times in theaters. I see a lot of movies twice in theaters just because I enjoy seeing movies in theaters. Um, so yeah, because it's like, it's, there's something about the experience of having your eyes defocus and having that all that sensational information. Because yeah, it's like, yeah, you can watch a movie in the comfort of your own home, in your own couch, on your own TV. It could be a big TV, but it's still a certain size at a certain distance from your eyes. And a movie theater is a much greater distance at the same relative size. So that makes it so that your eyes are able to defocus. If you're, if you're looking at something like really close to here, like I'm looking at my, my finger right now, right? My eyes look pretty cross-eyed. I'm looking at you now, and now I'm looking at something behind you. That's how your eyes cross. I mean, you guys have probably done this millions of times as well. Um, I don't know anything about it scientifically. And just know that the more your eyes are able to look perfectly uh, parallel to each other, the more comfortable it is on your eyes, your eye muscles, and your brain interpreting the image, which is why it's much more pleasant to watch a movie theater screen than your TV and way more than your phone. Yeah, you can watch Netflix and stuff on your phone and it's all right, but once you've finished watching like an hour and a half movie on your phone, you just kind of go, you rub your eyes and you're like, oh man, that sucked. Oh man, this is a 12 minute video. I'm sorry guys. Uh, I try to keep these short because I, I know I can start ranting, but at the end of the day, if you watch this whole thing, good for you. Oh, I know. I'm going to be in a Half-Life 3 video next week. We're filming it on Wednesday. Quarter Digital's uh, filming the reveal trailer for the new game. So that's cool. Well, and, and you're... I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that. I'll find out. Hopefully I won't have to delete this video. Talk to you later. Bye.